Hey there everyone, welcome to another video of Fox Android. So in this video, we're gonna learn how to implement a nested recycler view into our Android application, right? So let me just demonstrate. So if you can see on my mobile screen, there is this window, right? So you can see that there are this one bigger card view and inside that we have three items. So the bigger card view is a item of a recycler view, right? And inside that we have a recycler view which has this smaller three elements. So basically this is a nested recycler view. So this is what we're going to learn by the end of this video, right? So if you want to learn this, make sure you watch this video till the end. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So guys, if you're new to this channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and press the bell notification icon for receiving the notification of the upcoming videos. And by the end of the video, if you like the video, make sure to hit that like button as well. So first thing first, First, we're going to implement a list view inside of this activity. So let me delete this. So let me search for recycler view. Let us constrain it to the parent on all the sides. And we'll give it ID of RV parent. So now we'll create a layout resource file for the child items. So we'll name it as list item. And the layout for this will be card view. Press OK. So okay now i'll quickly just design this item right the list view item then i'll explain you guys what you've done right So okay guys, we have designed the list item for the first recycler view, right? So basically we have this items. Uh, let me show you. This is the first item. This is the main item. And after that, we have a recycler view here. So this is the nest recycler view. So now we're going to design the item for this recycler view, right? And one more thing. So here we have used this circle image view. For that, you have to import a library. So this will be the library. I'll put the link 
to this library in the description below you can just go and copy the library from there and put it here and then sync your project right so now let us create a new resource file we'll name it as child item and the layout will be card view only press ok that pop-up is just to add the files to get because i have connected this project to get don't worry about that so let me go here so if you can see the below items will look more over like this item right so this whole item so i'll simply copy this and paste it here now let us first set certain attributes for this Let us change this to a linear layout. Now we need to delete this text view here. Okay guys we are done with the child recycler view item as well and I guess we need to add this to our parent item as well I have forgotten that so let me add that So okay we are done with the front end now let us quickly dive into the back end code so first we need two object classes right to for this whole object and the object of the child recycler view so i'll just create a new java class name it as parent item So inside this we'll declare three string variables the first one will be order id you can manipulate it according to your requirement and an int variable as well i'll just let you know why are we doing this now after declaring all the variables that you require so first let me explain so here you can see there are uh, basically four items the first one is order id this one is the order id quantity and the price and here we have the image so to fill in this image we need the image resource id so that's why i have declared an integer variable so right click generate constructor select all the fields click ok so we are done with, with the first object class now let us create object class for child so child item so again we will declare four variables create a constructor for that So, okay so if, if you can see here the child item 2 has four fields right so image the name of the item quantity and price so i guess here we do not need any margin let me keep it as zero only yeah i guess it should be zero and here as well the margin should be zero 
you can delete this field i've just made it zero okay so as we want two ob uh, object classes same in the same way we need two adapter classes so first i'll create an adapter class for the parent so i'll just name as my adapter so now this class will extend recycler to dot adapter right so my adapter dot view holder don't worry about it we'll just create this now this will extend recycler view dot view holder right so just click here and press alt enter create constructor and now you just click on this alt enter implement methods we need to implement all the methods right so okay now we'll declare three variables array list and this list will contain the parent items and one more array list it will contain the object of child item class right let us implement the dependencies just right click generate constructor select all the three items press ok so ok the constructor is ready so first we'll modify this get item count here we'll just return the count of the parent item array list so just return parent item array list dot size right so now we'll come here and here we'll define three text views the first one will be order id item quantity item price and then we have a circle image view right and then we have a recycler view as well inside the parent item so nested recycler view i will refer to all the three items quickly i guess i forgot to give it id So okay guys we have referred to all the items here now we'll go to on create view holder right so we'll create object of class pass the con context dot inflate so we have made the layout for that that is list item parent and false now here we will return the view holder object and will pass view as an argument so now we need to override the last method on bind view holder will create object of this class parent item so we'll get it from the array list that will get and will pass the position of the element so now we'll set the values
we forgot to refer to the image view Now, okay guys we have set all the four items we have set the order id quantity price and the image and we do have a recycler view as well so now we need to inflate that as well so for that we need to create another class we'll name it as child adapter now it will extend Cycler view dot adapter okay guys we have done the similar things that we have done in this adapter our child cycler so view. now here to inflate will create object of child adapter and here we will pass this realist right child item realist So you can see now this was the fourth item recycler view was the actually the fifth item so we have set it here we have set the layout and the adapter to that as well so this error will go once we'll create a constructor here so we'll create an array list and it will take the child item Let us create a constructor. Done. Here we'll return dot size. So in the similar fashion, we'll refer to text views and all the things here. Okay guys we have referred to all the four elements now we'll go to on create view holder last thing we need to override this find view holder so we'll create object of child item class and we'll get it from the array list dot get and we'll pass the position here and we'll set the text view and the image to all the elements right So okay guys we are done with the adapter both the adapters right yes we are good to go now we'll quickly go to our main activity let us create a variable for my adapter we'll name it as my adapter only 
एंड टू अरे लिस्ट Now we'll create an array to store a dummy data. For example, the order IDs. You need, uh, you have to decide in your application where this data will come from. So I'll put some dummy data. And similarly, we'll create an array. For item name right in your dear word application this data will not be static you'll fetch data from somewhere right so you need to implement that code so just for the sake of this tutorial I'm doing it like this And here you can see in the drawable folder I have these four images so I'll store the ID for that. Now let us create a for loop. Now I'll put all the data, this data and this data inside these two array list. So let me quickly do that. Okay guys, what we have done here is, so uh, every time this for loops will go on, we have created an object of parent item class. We have fed the order ID from this array list and the we have fed two dummy data. So I have added uh, I 14 to the I and I have multiplied 43 with the I and I have given the image ID from here, right? Then uh, we have added this parent item object to this array list and similarly we have done it for the child item array list except that we only want the three objects inside this array list and this list for uh, this loop will go for four times so I have just set the if condition to make sure that only three items are added in this right. So after that my adapter is equal to create a object of this pass the context the array list and the child item array list right so linear layout manager okay guys we are all done with it and i know that i haven't explained this adapter things in detail because i already have a dedicated video in that if i would have explained all the things this this tutorial would have been much longer than this i know that this is already a very long tutorial so just to save the time you can check out that tutorial if you want to know the details you do not know how to implement the adapter in your cycle view you can just check out that tutorial so let me quickly install this app to my cell phone and check if it is working fine or not right so okay guys the app has been installed to my cell phone as you can see on my mobile screen so there are these parent list items right and we have a nested recycler view as well 
so i guess we have successfully implemented this feature to our android application and i hope that you guys have understood the code so if you understood the code make sure to hit that thumbs up button in case of any doubt you can always ask me in the comment section or you can dm me on instagram the instagram username will be there on your screen right now and if you're new to this channel make sure to hit that subscribe button and press the bell notification icon one more thing if you want me to implement the same feature using Kotlin as the backend language, do let me know in the comment section. I'll surely plan to make a tutorial in Kotlin as well. So that is all for today's video. See you in another video. Bye.